Hi there, this is Jamie Davis. And I'm Scott Luceno. This is The Recap. So for the third time in six months, the UK government has actually committed to a £400 million investment in 5G infrastructure. But the big question remains is where is the money actually going to go? Drop in the money! At the moment, there haven't been any real clues whether it's going to be invested in OpenReach or alternative providers like Virgin Media, or how about the little guys like City Fiber who are looking to expand nationally? Please, sir, I want some more. It's a big commitment and a big PR soundbite, but at the moment, there really hasn't been any clue as to if there's actually a plan behind it at all. That's scary. Another big question might be worth asking is whether this is money that should be spent by the telcos anyway. It's a pretty sad state of affairs when you have the UK government coercing telcos uh, into investing into their own infrastructure to improve the experience, which they're kind of already promising to customers anyway. Whether there is actually any legs in this investment or whether it actually works out to put us at the forefront of the digital economy once again remains to be seen. But we're slightly sceptical over here. Yeah. So I was lucky enough to pay a visit to Wembley Stadium this week, courtesy of Qualcomm, EE and Sony, who were collectively showing off what they call Gigabit LTE. Now this basically means mobile broadband, i.e. over-the-air um, data, of up to a gigabit per second of bandwidth. It's not, not fast enough. Which is quite a big deal because most of us in our uh, fixed line broadband have much less than that. Now this isn't something that everyone can get right now, so they were sort of demoing the potential of it. And the technology that goes into it, which is a combination of three carrier aggregation and other acronyms such as QAM and uh, 4x4 MIMO and that sort of thing. DDOJSIOC. It was basically a sign of what's to come in terms of bandwidth that we can expect from 5G. The bandwidth element of 5G is just about more, just as previous generations have been. And this time we expect it to be an order of magnitude more. Promising indeed. It used to be that one gigabit per second was considered the standard for 5G. Now we're able to achieve that on 4G. This is great! And the long and short of it is that these three companies are showing off their credentials of being able to deliver more bandwidth than anyone else right now.